안녕하세요 여러분 Now we are in chapter 4 시간 and 날짜 time and date and this is the fifth video of chapter 4 In the previous videos we have learned to tell date and days in a week in Korean and now we move on to time and time related expressions To ask the time the question will be what time is it now In Korean 지금 몇 시예요? Repeat after me. 지금 몇 시예요? 지금 몇 시예요? 지금 is now. And 몇 was introduced in the first video in chapter 4 as an interrogative in different questions, especially number related expressions for time and date and also for counting. So here, 몇 시 is about what time. 몇 시예요? What time is it? 지금 몇 시예요? To tell the time in Korean, we need to know these two expressions. First is 시 for hour. The next is 분 for the minute. 시 and 분. When we mention the hours, We need to use the native Korean numbers. 하나, 둘, 셋, 넷, 다섯, and so on. For the minutes, we need to use Sino-Korean numbers such as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if you are not very confident in counting or using the numbers yet, Please go back to chapter 3 and master the numbers before proceeding. Now we have some practices in lecture notes. You can open the page number 3. The first example shows number 2, 2 o'clock. Now we have two options. We can use Sino-Korean number or Native Korean number. For the hour, we must use native Korean numbers. So it will be 하나, 둘. And also there was an irregular for number 1, 2, 3, 4 and 20 in uh, native Korean numbers when there is a unit noun in the expressions. Now the time expression 시 and 분 is considered the unit noun. So now we need to use that shorter expression for number 1, 2, 4. 2 o'clock will be 2시예요. 2시예요. Then, how about 3 o'clock? Number 3 is 하나, 둘, 셋. But again, we move the ending consonant. It will be 세. Number 3, 세. 3 o'clock, 3시예요. 3시예요. How about number 7? 하나, 둘, 셋, 넷, 다섯, 여섯, 일곱 And there is no irregular number for 7. It will be 일곱 시예요. 일곱 시예요. For the last example here, we have both hour and the minute. For hour, we are using native Korean numbers. So, we count from 1 to 10. The last one was 10, 열. 12, 열. 10, 열. 하나, 11, 열. 둘 is 12. Again, 열, 둘 also have the shorter form. 열, 두. And for the minutes, 48. It must be given in the Sino-Korean number. 40 is 40, 8 is 8. So to answer to the question, the full sentence will be 12시 48분이에요. 12시 48분이에요. Here we must be reminded to use 시 and 분 in time expressions. If we forget to use 시 and 분 to tell the time, 12 and 48 doesn't make sense as a time expression. 
So don't forget to add she for the hour, pun for the minute. 열두시 사십팔 분이에요. To summarize the time expression, especially for 시간, time, there was a useful question. What time is it now? 지금 몇 시예요? 지금 몇 시예요? To tell the time, we needed to use these two expressions, 시 and 분. To mention the hour, we use the native Korean numbers and 시. 한 시, 두 시, 세 시, 네 시, until 열두 시. For the minutes, we use Sino-Korean numbers. 1 분, 2 분, 3 분, 4 분, 10 minutes. 10 분, 30, 30 분, 45, 45 분. There are one more expression as an interrogative we can practice together with this time expression. 몇 시? is 언제? 몇 시 is usually used in the question only to ask the time. 언제 can have the wider use to ask the date, time, or the day can be covered by this question 언제, when. 언제예요, when is something, something. When is your exam? 시험이 언제예요? When is your class? 수업이 언제예요? So, practically, 언제 can be used to ask the date, time, and day overall most of the time expressions. And 여러분, before proceeding to the next video, please make sure you can practice to tell the time expression daily. Now, you look at your watch and please practice to tell the time using the both numberings for the hour, native Korean number for the minutes, Sino-Korean numbers. This practice must be the daily thing so that 여러분 can be familiarized with the number and use of numbers.